In this video, I will show you how to graph and label a parabola in standard form even when the vertex is not at zero comma zero. And we're going to be talking about the directrix, the vertex, the focus, the focal width, all that good stuff. First, we need to mention the vocabulary of parabolas. So this point at the bottom of a parabola that's opening upward is called the vertex. Now there's this point in the interior of the parabola called the focus. The distance from the vertex to the focus is called P. So um, there's also a line that's in the opposite direction of the parabola. So if the parabola is opening up, um, on the other side away from the focus is a line called the directrix. The directrix is also P away. So if the focus is P up, the directrix will be P down. Um, if you measured the width of the parabola at the focus, so here's the focus, here is the focal width. All right, it's called the focal width, the width of the parabola at the focus. These are the standard form equations for a parabola. If the cent, uh, sorry, not the center, if the vertex is h comma k, then you're either going to have x minus h squared is equal to 4p times y minus k, or you'll have y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h. The difference is, um, if you have a normal vertical parabola, like this one or this one, then the x is going to be squared. All right, the x minus h will be squared. If the y is squared, then it's going to be a, a parabola that opens left or right. It will be a sideways parabola if the y is squared. Uh, one more thing, the focal width that I mentioned before, all right, the width of the parabola at the focus, the focal width, will be found right here. Okay, for this example, the 12 is the focal width. Focal width is always positive. So if this is a negative 12, I'm just going to say that the focal width is 12. Okay, now the p-value can be negative. Okay, enough background information. Let's get started. First, we need to decide whether or not this parabola opens up, down, left or right. That's the first thing we need to decide. And it's all about um, which variable is squared. If you have y squared, that's going to be either left or right. Now the way I know whether it will be left or right is uh, whether or not this is positive. If this is positive, it's going to open to the right. If it were negative, it would open to the left. So because the y is squared, I know it's going to be left or right. Because this is positive, I know that it's going to open to the right. So I'm just going to write down right, okay, to remind me that uh, we should end up with a parabola that opens to the right like this, which means we should have a directrix that goes like this, and uh, there'll be a focus on the inside. Now, the next thing we need to do is look at this number right here. That number is the focal width, by the way. We could write that down right now, 12. All right, but that number is also 4p. 4p is equal to whatever the number is here. Dividing both sides by 4, that tells me that p is equal to 3. Okay, um, so we could write that down. p is 3. The vertex, I want you to be really careful here. The vertex is going to be the opposite of these two numbers, but you have to be really careful because um, the x-coordinate of the vertex is always going to come from the x part of the equation. The y-coordinate will always come from the y part of the equation. So the x-coordinate is going to be 1 because of this. 
the y coordinate is going to be negative 2 because opposite of this. Many students will make the mistake and they will just go in order. So they will say negative 2 comma 1. But that's backwards because the, uh, the 1 comes from the x, so it needs to be the x value. So, okay, the vertex is 1 comma negative 2. So here's my vertex right here. Okay, now, remember that this is a parabola that is opening to the right, which means my focus should be to the right. So, the p-value tells me how far to go to the right. So starting from my vertex, I will go 3 to the right, and there's my focus. So my focus is 4, comma, negative 2. All right, the directrix should be 3 in the opposite direction. So 3 to the left, and here will be my directrix, which we will show as a dotted line. Okay, vertical lines are always x equals something. So this will be x equals negative 2. Okay, is vertical x equals negative 2. Okay, now let's use the focal width to plot two more points. So remember that the focal width was 12. All right, we got that from right here. That means um, we, sh we have a parabola that's opening to the right. But the width of the parabola at the focus, okay, this width right here should be 12. All right, that's what focal width 12 means. Now let's go back and sketch it more carefully. If the total focal width is 12, that means um, 6 up and 6 down. All right, so there's 6, and here's 6. So here the focal width is 12. And now I have enough information to draw a basic sketch. Okay, starting from the vertex and passing through the focal width. All right, so there you go. That's it for number one. So looking at number two, again, the first thing you need to decide is does this open up, down, left, or right? Since the x is squared, that tells me that it will either be up or down. All right, it will be either up or down. All right, it's vertical. Um, because this 20 is positive, that tells me that it's going to be up. Okay, so we're looking for a parabola that opens up like this. There should be a focus on the inside, and there should be a directrix underneath. That's sort of the big picture. Now, this number 20 is the focal width, so we can write that down, 20. But it's also 4p, so 4p is equal to 20. Dividing both sides by 4 gives me p is equal to 5. Okay, so the p value is 5. Um, the vertex. The vertex is going to be the opposite of this and the opposite of that. So positive 1, comma, negative 2. Okay, make sure you don't just go in order. Make sure that you're getting the x-coordinate from the x-part and the y-coordinate from the y-part of the equation. So 1 comma negative 2 is going to be right here. So here's my vertex. Now, remember that I know that this parabola is opening up. So when I place my focus, I'm going to go up, and the p tells me how far. So starting from the vertex, I'm going to go up 5. So this will be my focus. 
and I will go down five and that will be my directrix. So my directrix should be here. Okay, so my focus is one comma three. And my directrix is y equals negative seven. Horizontal lines are always y equals. Horizontal. Okay, now we just need two more points which we will get from the focal width. Since the focal width is 20, that means at the focus, I'm gonna go 10 to the left and 10 to the right. So if I go 10 to the left, boom. 10 to the right, boom. So this parabola is gonna look like this. All right, and there you go. That's it for number two. Number three, is this going to open up, down, left, or right? When the x is squared, it's either going to open up or down. All right, it's going to be vertical whenever the x is squared. If this is positive, that means it's going to be up. Okay, now, 4p is equal to 4. Which, by the way, this 4 is the focal width, so I can write that down. If 4p equals 4, dividing both sides by 4 gives me p is equal to 1. Write that down. Okay, let's talk about the vertex. The vertex is going to be the opposite of this, comma, the opposite of this. Make sure you're getting the x-coordinate from the x-part and the y-coordinate from the y-part. So positive 1, comma, positive 1. All right, let's go ahead and graph that. So one comma one would be right here. Now, I know that this parabola is opening up. So the, uh, I'm gonna graph the focus next. And the P value tells me how far up to go. So starting from my vertex, I'm gonna go up one. And this will be my focus. I'm going to go in the opposite direction, the same amount, and that'll be my directrix. So up one, and there's my focus. Down one, and there's my directrix. So my focus is the point uh, one comma two. And my directrix is the line y equals zero. Horizontal lines are always y equals something. Okay, this is horizontal. Now I just need two more points to complete my graph. I will use the focal width to gr graph uh, two additional points. Remember that the focal width is four. That means that at the focus, the total width of the parabola is four. So if I go two to the right and two to the left, that will give me a focal width of four. So these are enough points for me to uh, do a rough sketch of this parabola. So that's it for number three. Okay, looking at number four. First, we must decide, does this open up, down, left, or right? When the y is squared, it's going to be horizontal. So it's either going to open left or right, okay, uh, whenever the y is squared. Now, because the 16 is positive, that tells me that it's going to open to the right. So I'm looking for a parabola that opens this way. All right, so the focus will be in the interior and the directrix will be a vertical line. So this is the big picture. 
This 16 is the focal width, so we might as well write that down. But also, 4p is equal to 16. Dividing both sides by 4 tells me that p is equal to 4. I'm going to come back to that in a moment. Uh, what's the vertex going to be? A common mistake would be to say 2 comma 3. That would be wrong. Uh, you have to be careful because this is backwards from what you are used to. The x coordinate has to come from the x part of the equation. So I'm going to do the opposite of this and the opposite of this, but the x coordinate is going to be 3 um, because it has to come from the x part of the equation. The y coordinate is going to be 2 because uh, the opposite of the y part of the equation. So 3 comma 2 is the vertex. And let's graph it. So 3 comma 2 is right here. Now remember, I already know that this parabola is opening to the right. So when I go to place my focus, okay, this point right here, I know that I need to go start at the vertex and go to the right. The p value tells me how far to go to the right. So I'm going to go to the right 4. And there's my focus. If I go 4 to the left, that will be my directrix, the line. So I will have my directrix right here. Okay, um, I should record some of this stuff. So the p-value was 4. The directrix was a vertical line. Vertical lines are always x equals a number. In this case, x equals negative 1. Uh, the focus turned out to be 7, 2. All right, now all I need to do is graph two more points, and then I can sketch the parabola. Let's use the focal width. Remember that the focal width was 16. So if I go over to my focus, I need the total width to be 16 here. Um, that means I'm going to go 8 up, and I'm going to go 8 down. Okay. So that gives me a total of 16 for the width of the parabola at the focus, the focal width. So um, that's enough for me to make a rough sketch of the parabola. Okay, so there you go. Ah, got a little bent there at the end. Oops. Um, anyway, that's it for number four. Let's just do a couple more problems. Will this be up, down, left, or right? When the x is squared, we know it's either going to be up or down. Because this is positive, it will be up. What is the vertex going to be? Well, because this is just x squared, that's going to be an x value of 0. And then the y coordinate will be the opposite of this, so negative 3. So my vertex is 0 comma negative 3, which will be right here. Okay, this 12 is the focal width. It is also 4p, so 4p is equal to 12. If 4p is equal to 12, that means that p is equal to 3. Okay, um, we know that this parabola is opening up like this, which means that uh, the focus should be in the interior of the parabola, and the directrix should be a horizontal line. Let's find the focus. Um, so, starting from the vertex, we know that we will have to go up to get to the focus. The p-value tells me how far to go up. 
So I'm gonna go up three, and that should be the focus. If I go down three, that should be my directrix. Okay, so my focus is zero comma zero. The directrix is horizontal, and it is y equals negative six. Horizontal lines are always y equals something. All right, we need two more points in order to sketch the graph. Let's use the focal width. So since the focal width is 12, if I go up to the focus, I'm going to go a six to the left and six to the right for a total focal width of 12. So now I can go ahead and sketch the parabola. All right, so that's it for number five. Will this parabola open up, down, left, or right? When the y is squared, it's gonna be horizontal, meaning it's either going to open left or right. Because uh, this number right here is negative, that tells me that it's gonna open to the left. Okay, so we're looking for a parabola that opens to the left like this. Okay, so the vertex will be here, and then the focus should be in the interior, and the directrix should be a vertical line. So that's the big picture. Okay, um, before we get started, what is the vertex going to be? Now, if you are thinking three comma two, you're wrong. Um, be careful. We are gonna do the opposite of this and the opposite of this, but the x coordinate has to come from the x part of the equation. So the two will uh, be the x value of my vertex. The y coordinate of the vertex has to come from the y part of the equation. So the three goes here. So sometimes it's not in order, so you have to be careful. So the vertex is at two comma three, which is right here, and I need to write that down. Okay, let's find the focus and the directrix. Keep in mind that this parabola is opening to the left. So if my vertex is here, my focus will be to the left. Um, remember that 4p is going to equal this number. So 4p is equal to negative 2. If I divide both sides by 4, I'm going to get that p equals negative 1 half. So I know my focus is going to be to the left of the vertex. The p-value tells me how far to go to the left. Uh, I'm going to go to the left one-half. So uh, my focus is actually going to be right here. All right, it's very, very close to the vertex. It's just half a unit to the left. Okay. Um, so what are the coordinates of this point? I can see that the y-coordinate is 3, but what's the x-coordinate? Remember, I am halfway in between. So uh, that means this is going to be um, 1.5, okay, uh, will be the x value. So my focus is going to be 1.5 comma 3. All right, uh, my directrix is going to be half of a... Uh, unit in the opposite direction. So my directrix will be a vertical line, but it's going to be like right here, right down the middle. All right, this is really hard to graph this precisely. All right, make your directrix a dotted line and it should be right down the middle. So this is 2.5. Uh, vertical lines are always x equals. So x equals 
2.5. Okay, uh, the p-value was negative one-half. I should write that down. Now, the focal width is 2. Notice even though this is a negative number, the focal width is always positive. So the focal width is 2. Let's use the focal width to find two more points in order to sketch the graph. So at the focus, the width of the parabola is 2. Um, so that means I'm going to go up 1 and down 1 for a total width of 2. So these three points are enough to give me a rough sketch of this parabola. Okay, so the parabola is going to look something like that. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. Go ahead and click here in the red apple to watch the next video. Click in the green apple to subscribe or click the yellow apple for the full playlist.